They got out the car? Yeah. Oh, nah. What's what going on? What if it wasn't even them that killed him now? What's good? It's your boy Sheen. Swiss and Bert. And we are jumping back into Breaking Bad, man. Finishing the season up. We got one more episode after this, right? Oh, like you. This season has been amazing, loving it. I want to see how they're going to wrap this season up. There's a bunch going on at the moment, so I know we're about to get hit with a lot. Just know, man, if you want to jump a couple weeks ahead, basically a season ahead, click that link in the description to our Patreon and head over there and sub up. You're missing out on a lot of content, a lot of exclusives that aren't even coming to YouTube, so make sure you hit that link, you head over there and you sub up. We also got a link in the description for our Discord, so if you want to talk about anything under the sun, you can do so within the Discord, so just click that link, head over there and join up, man. But without further ado, let's jump back into Breaking Bad. Let's get it. Oh shit, Cindy Lupe. He got her selling. Yo, Wendy, come on, huh? He getting that bread, though. But at what cost? People be stuck in that loop and can't get out of that loop. Oh shit. When he's buying from them. But they selling the blue though. So that's Gus's people. But if it's okay, I was thinking about using this one for the test. Mom's brakes are very sticky. You wanna use your pop's car? He gonna end up buying him his own car. New Mexico says, all I need is a note from a doctor. Cause remember he was trying to get him to use one foot. As long as it gets you safely from point A to point B, then who am I to argue? Yeah, well, there'll be pops. No way she's looking that up on her computer in the crib. She's stupid. I think that's a laptop that can't be traced, though, so she might be good. I mean, if she's on her Wi Fi, without her VPN, she's cooked. 9 a.m. Saturday? 9 a.m. Saturday. So, which means pick me up about 8 30. Uh you better not miss that I'm not gonna be there. Hi, um, do you have a minute? Yeah. Could you uh, go in and keep an eye on your sister yeah, for sure. me? Sure. Have you thought any more about what we discussed? Thought any more meaning reconsidered? No. Hey, I don't love this situation, all right, that you put me in. Took the seed money you won gambling. You invested it in the car wash that you helped run for four years. You hired your wife as a bookkeeper because guess what? She's actually a bookkeeper. Oh. You should just take this money that I give you and not look too closely at it. If, God forbid, I get caught, you maintain plausible deniability. Made $43,000 a year, starts shoveling money at me, and when the police come, I'm supposed to say, gee, I um, never thought about it, officers. I'd rather have them think I'm Bonnie What's-Her-Name than some complete idiot. A little hole in your plot, though. Why would your estranged husband be doing all this for you? Because he loves his family and desperately wants a reconciliation, though it may be hopeless and futile, he'd try anything. I'm just not buying it. No, I, I think it would be better if the husband were no longer estranged. You know, maybe if he were back sleeping in his own bed. Wow. It's suddenly a fantasy story. Yeah, so stop coming to me with this bullshit. Dinner with the family every night of the week. Not every night, no. Dinner two nights, not weekends, with 24 hours notice. Five nights a week with no notice. Five nights a week with two hours notice. Four. Don't push it. He would say five. What are you talking about? I am going to babysit my own daughter. I'm going to help my son with his homework. I am going to be a part of this family. That is how we'll sell your little fiction. Hey, listen so to my man. Why? Why? Like, so don't even so compromise bro. with her, bro. man. So like, how about we stop somewhere afterward? Get a beer. No, thanks. No. Maybe some other time. Seriously. Get a beer with me. That's the shit he took. That's ours, right? Look at it and tell me if that's ours. Bro threw that on the restaurant table, though. He's crazy, man. Yeah. Yes, it's ours. Now put it away. Where did you get that? Did you take it from the lab? I bought it from the two guys who killed Combo. And now it's our product they're selling, which means they work for our guy, right? What, uh, do you have any proof? I heard it from the sister of the kid who shot him. Hear how I just said kid? He's 11 years old. 
Shot combo on orders. I use kids because, hey, why not? Easy to control, easy to fool. Get them young, and they're yours forever. They used this little kid like some puppet. You're thinking emotionally, though. I feel him, though. That's his man's. So why are you telling me this? You're trying to get it on. I need your help. No, I can't do that. I need rice. Oh, my God. All right, I got the entire thing figured out. No. The delivery method, everything. All I need from you is the poison. Have Wendy do it. The kid is still going to sell regardless. Who buys from these two once or twice a week? All right, she brings a hamburger. There's your delivery system right there. A, a method? You're trusting to do this? You know what? That method stood up to your brother-in-law, right? He questioned her for five hours. She didn't give it up. Jesse, you, you cannot be serious. That's a feel like that's a smart way to do it as long as Wendy don't fuck it up. Have Wendy eat the burger. Guy eats rice and two or three days later, he gets the flu or a heart attack or something and he kneels over. That's what you said. Yo, it was a good plan back when it was Tuco and it's a good plan now. Tuco wanted to murder us. These guys don't. Do, do I really have to sit here and explain the difference to you? She was one of us. Why, why didn't you go after these guys two or three months ago? Because I just found out about them. And killed them months ago. Back then, you were too busy getting... Oh, here you go with this shit, man. Murder is not part of your 12-step program. What you were talking about here is pointless. You're going to do it anyway. I you don't see what it accomplished. There's no way I can explain it to you. You are not a murderer. I'm not. And you are not. I'm doing it. Man, he got to fuck up everything. This guy is such a fucking idiot sometimes, man. And it's like he put Walt in a situation. Well, you gotta think it was because Walt was trying to push the territory. But at the same wow. time, like... You're putting Walt in the fuck up position now because with or without him, you said you're going to do it. Just like Jesse said before, this shit comes with it. It's three in a row. That freaking Paul Newman over here. Have you been playing cards with your dad? He thinks that he knows how to count cards. But the doctor has told your Uncle Hank that he can get out of here anytime he wants to. Oh, yeah? That's what they said because they, uh, they want the room. Hit the sheets with Lysol, reset the meter, and they wheel the next slob in here. We went over this, Marie. Drop it. Uh, are you not well enough? I'm shitting in pans, peeing in pitchers. Can't move my legs. Got it. People in wheelchairs should be in hospitals. What about people on crutches? Maybe I should be in here too. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Uh, Marie crazy for that. She was the perfect person. You know what, Walt Dream, aka Flint, aka that boy don't be playing that. I used to play that for hours. So I don't know early, right? Promise me that he would be here. Oh, he promised. So. That's a joke. The kid ain't coming. Okay, so what's plan B? The way he was talking, he is going to do it. Or try it. We pay him off. No, no, it's not about money. It's about getting him. Could you get him arrested? You want your criminal associate taken into police custody? Nothing that could lead back to our business. Just some minor offense. Situations where you're in a, an orange jumpsuit picking up litter along the highway. Keeps him off the street for, say, 30 days. Then by the time he gets out, tempers have cooled and hopefully we can move on. Thinking, you know, you're not going to have something to do with that? Falls under my premium services package, but you can afford that. I'll call my PI. Oh, there's no there. way he would have put him in jail for 30 days, bro. Cause that's his life, son. Never talk to anyone, right? I mean, ever. Understand? Yeah. You're gonna put him in jail and the shit's still gonna happen. I found this stuff on the internet. It takes days to kick in. Just keep quiet and this won't ever come back to you. Does he fucked up for doing this though? Putting this all on her. Just think of it like it's the same thing as always. You're just delivering some hamburgers. Wendy took the hit for this boy. Imagine these two guys had Patrick working as a mule, making him kill people. Why don't you do anything to protect your kid? Of course I would. I'd do all kinds of things for him. They gotta go. Tomorrow. We'll be in touch. How about you fucking do it since you wanna be this big he bad guy? Burgers, bro. Shut it up. don't matter. He can find a different way. Shut up, bro. This guy wanna be a big bad guy like... Shut up, bro. Bro, you about to put this on her conscience. What are you doing? If you need to talk, use the phone. This isn't a phone talk, Walter. 
I didn't see something. I got a Little granddaughter Holly. a few years older. I spoke to Goodman about Pinkman and this plan of yours. And? I'm not gonna do it. Why? Because it's moronic. The problem is the boss wouldn't like it. So my boss. Your boss. This is a professional courtesy. But our employer would find out, like always. And if Pinkman were arrested, he'd take it as a problem. You got a good thing going here, we all do. Now, I realize you two have a history, but this kid's been on the bubble a while now. It's a long time coming. Yeah. But there was this one guy, this one piece of shit that I will never forget. Gordy, big boy. 270, 280, she was lady. I was real sp Anyway, my partner and I get called out there every weekend, and one of us would pull her aside and we'd say, come on, tonight's the night we press charges. This girl was scared. She wasn't gonna cross him, no way, no how. He sleeps it off, next morning out he goes. Broke her nose in the shower kind of thing. Only that night, and this sideways asshole is in my back seat humming Danny Boy. So instead of left, I go right out into nowhere. And I kneel him down, and I put my revolver in his mouth. And he's crying, going to the bathroom all over himself, swearing to God he's gonna leave her alone, screaming. Put him back in the car. And after a few minutes, I took the gun out of his mouth. You must have killed the girl. Help me if you ever touch her again. I will such and such and such. And... But two weeks later, he killed her. Of course. Caved her head in with the base of a wearing blender. Moral of the story is, I chose a half measure. When I should have gone all the way. Telling him that he need to kill Jesse. Boy, he gotta fuck Jesse up to the points where he know what not playing no more. That's a half measure. If you still not. don't know at the end of the day, after he heal up, he gonna be back on his bullshit. I don't get this at all. All I'm seeing is a kid. So, is it like fast? Don't sweat it, all right? You're just doing what you do. Hey, nobody's gonna know anything. Gonna need you to come with me. Take a walk. Found his ass. Scared as shit. Nah, he's scared as shit. Like, fuck you scared for? That boy Gus in the back? Yeah, he's scared because boy there. You don't <laughs> really know him. Where are we going? Shut the hell up. You better go talk to Gus. A chef, Mally. Things run good, baby. You scared now for her? He probably thinking that he got Walt in trouble too. Just to like really scare, but like make it seem like it's not just Walt that got him in trouble, but they both in trouble type shit. They sit on the same side. The fuck is them two? That's the two bulls. Oh, that was in the car. Yeah. That's why he, he was like, where are they? But mm -hmm. Gus had him. Chill. I understand that you have a problem with two of my employees. It is true that they killed one of your associates. But on the other hand, there was provocation. They don't give a damn. There is blame on both sides. This will go no further. It will be settled right here, right now. Shall we fight? Like, yeah, get fight it on. Them. Why did he stop looking down all scared? Like, yeah, I told him. What the fuck are we got going on? Listen to me. You have one friend in this room. This man, those men outside, are my trusted employees. If it wasn't for this man and the respect I have for him, I would be dealing with this in a very different way. You don't look at him, you look at me. My men will come back inside and you will shake their hands and you will make peace. Half measure. No. This nigga crazy. These kids. These assholes of yours that got an 11 year old kid doing their killing for them. You're supposed to be some kind of a reasonable businessman. This how you do business? Right, right. You know who you're talking to, boy? Looking at he need a blink. Bring them back. My bro, you want to kill him? Now y'all about to do the. You want to fight one? When it's eight, five minutes later, you yeah. get a two minute break, you gotta fight the other one. Like, what are you talking about? So you really want to get it all like that? No more children. Understand? That is fucked up, though. And you. You keep the peace. 
He solved it though. It was the children. Yeah. I'll keep the peace. That's tough, Gus. Met him halfway. He not going to though. It's got Jesse. He still killed. Kong, he gonna bro. say one of them gonna say some weird shit. It's gonna be him. Why well, look like a little ass puppy? Nah, like, cause he, like, like, he understand why Jesse's so pissed, but like, bro, that's the only thing he can do. That was his do. man's boy. I need my get back. I ain't gonna lie, Jesse. I fuck with how you thinking though. I'm thinking my big back. Sometimes compromises have to be made. Now you ratted on me, Walt. You crazy for that? For the best of reasons. He would have been dead. Cause Gus could have snatched him up before he even gave him them burgers and put him in the ground. Bro, acting like a little ass kid, bro. You are in a drug business, bro. You're in a business, period. What if they kill young boy because they don't need him no more? They ain't gonna do nothing like that. But... Let the people who get paid to do this do this. People who get paid to do this do a lousy job. That's your wife, boy. Wash your neck. Wash your neck up. Dirty bat. Big bat. You ain't getting no dirt off wiping him like that. You better scrub this. It's time to go home, Hank. Sometimes I gotta tell you, Marie, not tell him well. Watch that man, sir. Hey, 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 hey. What, 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 what are you doing? You're my best here, Marie. We'll see. See where that boy shit still work. <laughs> Yo, that's funny as fuck. I'm in this bed for a reason. You gotta get up with a feeling back to his legs and shit. Besides, what if someone comes in? <laughs> if I can get the groundhog to see his shit. It's not gonna happen, I'm sorry. I'm betting it will. And if he does, you check out of here. <laughs> I'm not gonna bet on whether I get a boner. He's so funny, bro. No bet, what happened? No bet, shit? No bet. <laughs> point is you're not completely hopeless Nah, he has been for a while respectfully though like he ain't never been in this position you got one minute one minute <laughs> all right that's a cakewalk yeah this is i really feel sorry for you Marie. you know i really do it's just uh <laughs> what you have man nobody trying to keep <laughs> yo they funny as fuck for this Marie, give up i mean seriously it's See the way. <laughs> Check your ass out. Uh, that shit. I shouldn't have met. Get that ass home. Uh, right? Yeah, she's funny. Get that ass home, boy. If I urge. They're telling you they kill mm. young boy. Grandma? Slow down. Slow down. I can't. Oh, God. <sighs> he just tried to help. There's no way they can. It's another death he gonna feel like was his fault, man. So that was their solution to no more Because he kids? know too much. It's kill the young boy. Well, he know they faces. He know what they do. Like, come on, bro. Dude, he gonna kill him. And if he man. wouldn't have did nothing, he would have been. But Thomas would have been alive. Jesse, you are now. 42 minutes late. I'm starting without you. Uh, okay to use your bathroom, right? Tokyo for 1600? Okay. They killed that young. That's insane. It's like, bro, you got what you wanted, but then Walt knows that the shorty he, well, he don't know it's the shorty he's talking to, but the shorty he's talking to, that's his little, a little brother. So I could hit more than if it was just a regular person. I was looking out for your best interests as well as my own. And I stand by my decision 100%. So we'll just have to agree to disagree. Once Jesse tell Walt this, he gonna be on board with what Jesse doing, which is, I will be too. He gonna turn and see but that they first, killed the kid. More the murder of a young boy in the South Valley. That 11 year old Tomas Cantillo may have been the victim of a gang related execution. Paramedics were called to the scene, but were unable to revive the boy. 
Our boy Heisenberg about to come out on an accident. Hey, uh, did you know your dad and I are thinking about maybe starting a business together? But she mm. can say it's the car wash, though. What do you mean? Like, I'm sorry. I, I have to go. That boy Walt about to do it. That boy about to get angry and blow them boys' brains off. Well, I thought you man was about to hit the shit Jesse here. Nah. He ain't been doing that in a while either. That boy not sober no more. This was his first hit since Jane, right? Mm-hmm. He about to kill him. Ain't no peace no more. You set to go kill somebody. But doing it like this right here is way too risky, bro. This is not smart. I'm about to shoot him through the coat pocket. He ain't like that. Everybody walk about to pull up on him like I got the nice and walk gonna pop out. I can't even see. Take it out the car? Yeah. Oh nah, what's what going on? What if it wasn't even them that killed him now? Had to be the Walt ran him over. Nigga Jesse's about to get blam. Ain't no way Walt shoot him. Oh! I told you what. What was gonna do it? Yo, nah, Walt's different now. He not the same man. Damn. He's not even Heisenberg. That boy Heis assassin. That boy the assassin's crazy way hit him with the car. But like, bro, that was so messy to do right then and there on the street. Right after. Come on, bro, that ain't spug. They ran him over the fucking whip. Vroom, vroom. Get off me, car. Now I get, now I get out because I get off me, car. And Rambo under under that shit. Damn, Rambo. No. But then, like, now your car is fucked up. Like, bro, come on, bro. That was retarded. The car fucked up. Because you got to go clock in tomorrow to go to work, bro. Come on, let's do I think he's going to tell Gus before Gus even finds out, which is going to mitigate it a bit. But then again, now there's nobody on that turf that's selling. They got to go there. Put that boy uh skinny and fucking yeah, yeah, <laughs> But then again, it's still him selling that product. Two more junkies, bro. He's but it's not still him selling. But skinny and I ain't never run off on the plug though. So I knew my guy Walt was gonna do it because Jesse right there, Jesse would have choked up and he would have got shot. Man, I ain't gonna yeah, lie. He shot one, he got shot with the other one, bro. Like what was he thinking? And then to walk up to the car like that, like bro, yeah, like, bull is starting to really throw me a little bit, like. What? I know that's your A1. You started this with him, but it's getting to the point where Jesse got to get thrown that's to the curb, bro. Room, room, somebody for leak. Jesse, you want room, room, somebody for leak? What you talking about? Run somebody over. You saw what? I said you wouldn't. You know, I, I said, said yeah. But I listen to saying. what I'm saying. Uh, if Leek was At, doing everything no, Jesse was doing, bro, let you me explain what I'm bro. saying. Let he me explain. Nah. He trying, bro. He trying. <laughs> this guy he trying, bro. He trying. 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 I'm saying you're correct. So, yes. So, what do we? What is there to talk so about, So, listen bro? to what I'm saying. That, Jesse was going to put them in that predicament anyway. Because he still killed my man. Bro. Just I'm running stupid. everybody over for everybody that I fuck with. Yeah, that's you true. Around. No, you don't that's what's true. Going on. But I'm, I'm saying it's getting to the point to where Jesse got to get crossed out of this equation because he keep on bringing up problems, bro. With that, I hope their relationship still continues to be strong because Marie is putting her all into making sure Hank is better. And that's a beautiful thing to see. We also got Skylar talking some nonsense. Now she telling walt jr that they might be starting a business together like bro that's none of his business to even like bro, come on bro if you look at the situation they weren't supposed to they were supposed to let young Walt go you feel me he said no more children and then they end up killing the kid like they didn't have to do that bro you feel yeah. me? if they did it you feel me? ah that's what i'm saying fuck. we don't even but, know if they did it yet but it don't matter bro they, they he was do. the last one in your possession you feel me so um and then again, once, like I said, in the reaction as well, Jesse may feel like now that he tried to do something to better the situation and that ended up happening, that he also now has another death on his hands because of the decisions that he made when 
when he left that meeting, they said, you know what I mean, let's uphold the peace, and that's not what happened. So once they didn't hold up the end of the bargain, you know what I mean? I feel where Walt and Jesse's coming from, and then from Walt's angle, he just wants everything to go as smooth as possible because he knows like how serious it is and that they're actually involved with a gang and cartel, so anything can go left at any moment. It's interesting, loving this genre so far. Uh, one more, like I said, one more episode until we hit season four. So for Patreon, you guys would be one season ahead starting next week because we'll do two episodes next week. They'll get episode one of season three tomorrow or Thursday. Um, so y'all be basically a whole season ahead. But if you enjoyed the reaction, make sure you like the video, comment down below. Let us know your thoughts. Sign the subscribe button, bell icon, so you notify when we drop these videos. We appreciate y'all. Thank you for all the love and support, man. Um, all the engagement, love, supporters, comments shares likes goes a long way even if you just viewing this video it means a lot to us but until the next video the kids react